Good day, everyone. My name is Natasha Trudzi. I am a medical student of Universidade 9 de Julho, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary, thank you for the opportunity to present our study about lionel toxin for treating idiopathic overactive bladder in man a systematic review. Here are the disclosures. Conservative treatment option for OEB, such as letter training, pelvic floor muscle physiotherapy, fluid management, antimuscarinix, and beta-3 agonists represent respectively first and second line of treatment. For those patients with unsatisfactory response, it means refractory OAB, what line toxin, sacral neuromodulation, and PTNS may be offered as third line. Botline toxin was initially used over 20 years ago for neurogenic detrusor overactivity and obtained FDA approved for treatment of non-neurogenic OEB in 2013. Since then, several publications endorsed the effectiveness of both line toxin bladder injection in patients complaining of refractory OAD. However, most studies have been conducted exclusively or mainly in women. In this context, there is a limited evidence on the effect of botline toxin in male patients. We decided to perform a systematic review of literature on the use of botulinum toxin injections in bladder to treat idiopathic OEB in men. A systematic review was performed in the described databases, following mesh terms, presented here. Conception 2, October 30, 2020. Incomplete text, abstracts, and articles repeated or double topics were excluded. The search was limited to articles published in English and males with 18 years and over with idiopathic OEB treated with botulinum toxin. Letters were sent by mail to all corresponding authors of studies that didn't discriminate outcomes for male population or don't, didn't discriminate outcomes for idiopathic OEB. It means when there were both neurogenic and idiopathic OEB. Quality assessment was performed using the Cochrane Collaborations tool for assessment risk of bias. And the study characteristics were extracted by two reviews of this current study independently. Initially, 75 papers were identified. The screening, 12 studies were included in the qualitative and synthesis, two randomized clinical trials level two, one level three, and nine case series level four. There is a limited evidence on the effect of botulinum toxin in male patients. Only two studies were, were randomized clinical trials and 10 were observational studies. We found a great heterogeneity among the selected studies. In the conclusion criteria, borderline toxin dosage and outcome measure adopted to access a therapeutic response. Half of the selected studies were conducted exclusively in men, mean age 66.7 years. The total number of participants in the, each study ranged from 28 to 146. Filling outcomes data was possible only for a diverse event reported in, by seven studies. Among the different botulinum toxins, only botulinum toxin was the most used, 10 of 12 states. 
LAB symptom improvement has been reported by most studies with questioners and bladder diets. Results of Eurodynamic were presented in separate men in only two studies. Three months after bottling toxin injection, there was a reduction from 100 to 69 in the treasure overactivity. Also, a decrease in maximum the treasure pressure from 57 to 52 centimeters of water and increased in systematic capacity from a mean of 216 to 255 milliliters. Full analysis of adverse event data from seven studies show UTI, acute urinary irritation, increased residual volume, de novo intermittent catheterization, and hematuria. Rates from 12.4 to 37.3% associated with bottom line on injection in men with refractory OAD. In conclusion, there are limited information regarding efficacy and safety of bottom line on toxin bladder injection for male adiopathic OAD from relatively low evidence study. While bottle-line toxin bladder injection is currently recommended as third-line treatment for OEB in both genders, more research is needed in male population. Thank you.